This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com. Hello, what's up, people? Dr. Wolves is right here, and welcome to another Yu Gi Oh! Pack Up. This is a special episode, people, because last episode, the um, booster box opening, that was supposed to be the last one, but funny enough, Geek Retreat just literally messaged me just after I finished recording and I had to literally get off my backside right away, get in my car, drive straight to them and pick this product up because this thing was selling like hotcakes. This is the brand new structure deck that just got released in my timeline, as you guys know, a Blaze Strike. And you might be thinking, why is this selling like hotcakes even though this cost me £8.79 and it's the first ed? It's because of the cards in here are going for stupid money. Now, you may be thinking what cards are in here. Well, the ones I know that are in here that are actually quite expensive, which is Pot of Extravagance. Yes, Pot of Extravagance, Dark Ruler No More. There's so many great cards in here. And, if you want to know as well, Tribal Gate, which is a massive meta deck, people. Tribal Gates have actually been thriving in the Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament, and people absolutely adore them. Well, you may be thinking, why do I want it? It's because of Pot of Extravagance. Pot of Extravagance is pretty much, if you get it as a Hollow Rare, which is the Hollow Rare card, it's costing you around about 15 to 25 pounds per card, and it comes out here as a common. So you may be thinking, Dobsey, did you buy more of these? I bought four of these. I'm gonna keep one sealed, and I'm gonna open up the other two off camera for myself, because I am making a big, massive Exodia and Numeron deck, which involves with Burn. So as you guys know, you get yourself your advertisements and also Battle of Chaos, which we opened up just recently. That was awesome. So let's look at the holographics that we got right here. So we got Tribal Gate, uh, Mercuria. Okay. We got Spingen's Kit. Okay. The Golden Sword Soul, Ultra Rares. Nice. Ice Blade Dragon, Mirror Jade, the Ice. Oh, okay. So, the Fallen of Albers, a One Fusion, Synchro, XYZ, or Link Monster. Oh man, that sounds deadly. A Lubian and the Sir Searing Dragon. Branded Fusion, another Fusion card to use. Branded Sword. Branded Retaliation, which actually has a bleed in the card, so that's cool to have. There he is, the Fallen of Albers, which is actually one of the main ace cards in this, in this deck, so... If you guys are literally looking for holographic versions of um, the Fallen of Albers, there are there is some hollows out there that connects with Albers. And also, whilst I'll go through this deck with you guys, I'll be thinking on what cards could probably work with this deck. Because to be honest, maybe, 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 I might use it myself down the line. And possibly I, I would. So let's just leave up the holographics first. Because they're the ones we need, that we do want to protect. There we go. Last one. And done. Now, let's see what the commons are. This is the bit that I'm very excited about. And I'm, like I said, people, I will rate this out of 10, people. So we've got Fallen of Albers. Um, Abion the Scored Dragon. We've got the Knighted. Darkness Mail Dragon, good because that is now out of the ban list, so that's good to have this in the deck. We got Thunder King, the Thunder Striking Kaiju, good, we got some Kaijus here. Chaos Dragon Lavinia, which actually is another meta card. Another Kaiju, cool. There it is as well, Artifact Scythe. A very expensive card, if you guys want to know. This is also meta, so like I said, these cards are going to be meta, so if you guys want to get into your tournament, you definitely want to get this structure deck soon as before it gets expensive. Starly Stifrit, Keeper of Dragon Magic, Summoner Monk, good to see that as a common again. Great to see it. Oh my god, yes! A Ghost Ogre of Snow and Snow Rabbit as a common. Very nice. That will definitely be up in value too. An Effect Vela, lovely jubbly. Um, Omni Dragon Broterra. That's all the monsters. What do I think of the monsters? Definitely a 10 out of 10, I'd say. Uh, branded Lost, Branded in White, Branded Bond, Fusion Gears are common, lovely. Fusion Recycling Plant, that's a, that's a field bonus. Fusion Substitute, Gold Sarcophagus, and there it is. The common 
pot of extravagance. A holographic version of this is going for around about at least £10. At least. Maximum I've seen it go for around about £30 to £40 per card. And I need three of these. That's why I bought two more. Well, actually, no. I've got four together, keeping one sealed. So that is good to see that. Colf by the Grave, another expensive card. Dark Ruler No More, same as. It's this, 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 stru this structure deck is beyond insane. Screams of the Branded, Judgment of the Branded, Necro Fusion, back to the front, Warning Point, there can be only one as well, that is good. And Barrier as well, and Walking the Dragon, okay, and now we've got the Fusions. So we got Tintalen the Ash Dragon, which I know as a Hollow Rare that's quite expensive. We've got Glory Dragon, Iron Dash Dragon, the Branded Dragon. And we got some tokens. Okay, we got Albez the Shrouded. This could be a token or a counter. Does he name refer to the past, buried in darkness, or to a bright future? Hmm. Um, Alexius the Exhaled. A pure white heart to be filled with many memories with thoughts of coming days in mind. The girl gifts a name to the boy. The Tri Brigade, there's the Tri Brigade token. A lot of people like this one. Ready, aim, and fire. <laughs> and then the Vitreous Vessels. Sometimes like a, like a kind sister, sometimes like a strict teacher, the bond is always there, even while far apart. And Albdur the Dogmatic, ooh. A thing separated from the abyss, it mocked the light and deceived the darkness. Ooh, so I like the sound of this story of these archetypes. This is nice. I really do like the tokens. They're beautiful. Now, what do I think of this structure deck? To me, it is a definitely a 10, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to get yourself back into Yu-Gi-Oh! and you want to play serious meta, you've got to grab this deck, no matter what. It is 100% worth it ladies and gentlemen it really is seriously you get kaijus you get metal dragon you got fallen of albers of course you get the scythe you got the monk snow rabbit effect veiler pot of extravagance called by the grave dark ruler no more necro fusion there could be only one the list goes on this deck is absolutely insane ladies and gentlemen and tell you truthfully it's absolutely lovely it really is i'm so happy i've got myself three decks of this well three structures so this was the special video like i wanted to tell you guys make sure you leave a like subscribe if you're new to the channel as always and please check out geekretreat.com they, they like i said these structure decks will sell out probably they've already sold out because this is going to be an old this is going to be a video in august so these will be probably very expensive to that day. With that being said, the people I was looking to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh my god, Dobsy Wolves, you're coming back from the dead. It looks like Dobsy is finally going meta. I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!